What is my learning path? The questions that I get from most of the participants are I want to become a data scientist. What training should I take? I already have knowledge on few tools. What are my next steps? What skill should I add to my profile to make it to the next level or the data scientist level? I'm new to data science. Where can I start? These are all the questions. These are natural questions that come to our mind. Obviously, there are different type of profiles in data science. It's not just data scientist is not a single profile. You have beginner level, you have intermediate, advanced level, even complete data scientist. If somebody is a complete data scientist, maybe his job is next try to look for research and all that. But we are talking about the beginner, intermediate or advanced level. Some of you are eligible for intermediate level. Though you don't know anything about data science after learning this, you are directly you have to apply for intermediate level because you already know MIS and reporting analytics. You already know you already have good business knowledge. You already have good database knowledge. After acquiring data science skill, you cannot call yourself as a beginner data scientist. You have to apply for intermediate level. Some of you are already predictive modelers, data analysts. Only thing is you haven't tried some of the hardcore machine learning algorithms. That means after this course, you have to apply for the advanced level jobs. You can't call yourself as a beginner data scientist. You are already a data analyst. You're already doing predictive modeling. Only thing is you are adding these machine learning capabilities. Now in this course, after upskilling that, maybe you have to apply for the advanced level. Some of you are freshers, fresh out of college, one or two years experience, completely new to data science. Then these jobs are apt for you. Then you will, uh, you know, be an associate with someone else. Someone else will be building the model. You will be helping them, learning them uh, on the uh, job. Later on, you can go to intermediate, advanced level. Different profiles, different categories are there. Over the period of time, when I'm interacting with you, we will decide what is the right optimal profile for you. Okay. Depending on the background that you have. So the, yeah, the learning path is this one. You start with coding. This is first step. You start with coding. Either R or SAS or Python, how do per week. You can pick any language, no problem. You can pick more than two also. Absolutely no problem. You pick the coding language. You pick any of the tool. Absolutely no problem. But famous tools are your R, SAS, Python. These are the famous tools. You pick up one of those tool, tools. I'm not saying you should be an expert level in this one not required expert level is not required basics of the tool if you know how to handle the data or to clean the data that is sufficient to get you started the second step is knowing some basic statistics and basic mathematics that is required because at the end of the day these are algorithms if we want to gain clarity since we are learning it to take it for the life isn't it that means we have to learn it from the basics which means we have to understand the nitty gritties surface level any day we can learn anybody can build a model within half an hour just to if you do some uh, google search you will get the code you'll supply the data you'll build the model but how to find you in the model what are the hyperparameters how to fix the issues with the model all those things if you want to know then you should know some basic statistics basic mathematics when you say mathematics at least till 12th standard till 12th standard if you know maths that means if you know what is derivative, if you know what is integral, that is sufficient. That much math is sufficient, not advanced MSc level math. Basic statistics. We will anyway cover basic statistics in this course, whatever statistics that are required. We are assuming that uh, the participants are not from statistics background. Uh, if you are already from stats background, well and good, it will be a recap for you. If you are not from statistics background, it is a must for you. You should know some other basic statistics. Step two, that one. Step three is there are some basic machine learning algorithms. From past 30 years, we are using them. Regression, logistic regression, decision trees. These are simple machine learning algorithms or data analytics algorithms or predictive modeling algorithms. Those are core algorithms used by a lot of industries. Okay. From past 30 years, everybody using these algorithms. Simple to understand. Uh, the advanced algorithms are based on these basic algorithms. 
that is the third step that we are going to learn these are simple machine learning algorithms the next fourth step is black box methods these are advanced machine learning algorithms neural networks svm random forest boosting ann these are all the advanced machine learning algorithms once you have good hold on this then only you'll be able to follow this because these are extensions of these original algorithms you take decision tree here you put many decision trees one after the other what does that become make a guess if i take lot of decision trees try to build a model combining all of them that becomes what tell me random forest random, random forest. forest that's it so if you want to understand random forest you should have good knowledge on decision trees if you want to understand neural network you should have good understanding of logistic regression here if you want to understand boosting you have to have good understanding of decision trees so this is important once you have good basics here you can always follow these black box methods that is the fourth step the fifth step is deep learning which we have discussed right you take a and n and then uh, you work on it and then make some modifications that become cnn convolutional neural network used for image processing rnn recurrent neural network used for time series data analysis and all then comes ai models we discuss that like feedback deep q learning reinforced learning marco decision process that is a sixth step we can divide this whole process into three stages stage 1 i would call that as ml machine learning stage 2 is dl deep learning stage 3 is ai or this is also known as reinforcement learning i would say learning all of them in one sitting is not a good idea and we can always discuss this but gaining expertise on this takes a lot of time first let us focus on ml once we have good hold of it then we will go to dl our scope of course ends here maybe after 4 or 5 years we will do a lot of uh, good projects on ml and dl we can always explore more on rl right now it is at r and d phase a lot of companies not even deploying dl models not even deploying rl models most of them are using ml lot of jobs are related to ml right now a lot of jobs so let us focus on ml but i do want to give a good introduction to dl so that you know where is this industry going on and if you want to explore more if you are already good with ml you can explore more on dl but my suggestion is if you ask me genuinely do not try to learn all these in one sitting focus on one ml that itself is an ocean first you need to learn absorb practice before you reach the next step isn't it r and python both of them are really good tools you don't need to worry about that learn any one of them even in the interview even in the calls if they ask you you know uh, python you don't know r you confidently tell i know python i can pick up r at any point of time or why to leave it learn r as well you can always self learn if you learn python i will share my videos okay it's not difficult both of them are equally good it depends on the business problem it depends on the type of the company that they are working but from my experience on the corporate trainings most of the corporate training requests that i am getting these days are on python which we can assume safely that uh, they are internally using python okay the other mistake that people tend to do is directly skipping you know stage 1 directly jumping on to stage 2 don't do that mistake even when you are learn doing online learnings or somewhere else if you are learning or some of your friends are going for any data science training please guide them tell them that hey you want to learn image processing deep learning computer vision those type of problems first you need to master machine learning then only you can go to deep learning after that you can go to reinforcement learning or ai models okay the final suggestion that i have is avoid academic style type of courses when you are learning okay even your style also need to change academic style like academic style is good you can understand the theory and all that but always the theory need to be you know backed up by one project or one data set we have to apply the theory and see how it works on python it everything has to be hands on okay the other mistake that people tend to do is i have learned python i have learned r now i am a data scientist no tools 
are different techniques are different techniques are what regression classification segmentation ai uh, you know the uh, neural networks svms and these are the techniques and the coding or the functions are available in python and r but learning these will not make you a data scientist okay you should know the techniques as well as the tools those are some of the suggestions from my side we will now discuss our course curriculum before discussing course curriculum if you have any questions related to this please let me know yeah sure